All right, uh, welcome to you online and major freak. So, update on the UI um, situation. Uh, moving my windows around and, and checking it out. I've got where do my does my target list go? Right. How am I going to make it work when I kind of the broadcast fleet broadcast is kind of important. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I just switch this. Oh, and by the way, that's a really weird warp sound. It's like, is that what happens when you turn on the sound and it's bugged out, right? When you first turn it on, is this going to be like the way it is? Because I could probably log off and log back on. It's probably going to be sticking with me when you do that. Um, it does do that. When you have a sound bug, it will, it will bug out even if you log off and log on. You have to actually quit the game and start over again and then you won't get that kind of weird buggy thing so if you've noticed that when you kind of play around with the sound and you've got this constant warping sound it's probably just a yeah just a bug so we just re-log on get my character back in fleet and since i restarted the client it should no longer have that annoying sound because it it's loud and it's really annoying so <laughs> and then we'll deal with the uh, the UI. So I'm going to okay. This is probe scanner. So the fleet chat and the probe scanner is something I can minimize when I'm dealing with multiple targets. It's like, okay, the target's getting away, I need to close something. I don't really need to see fleet chat, and I don't really need to see the probe scanner that much uh, compared to everything else that's kind of important. So we're just gonna, right? Seeing new signatures come up is interesting and useful, but having lots of targets is kind of important, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But mostly, you're not really gonna have more than three targets locked. So that's the way I'm going right now with this. So Corp Fleet Inventory. Now I, I need Corp there because I need these windows. When I hit this, it doesn't close, right? Right? I don't want the, the, the chat, like, I don't want to hit this by accident. I just want to hit, if I, I want to minimum, I don't, I never want to close windows. It's just a bad idea in any of the stuff you want to always have, right? So. So that's, I need to move. Go. Yeah, I definitely want my broadcast window visible. There we go. Everything's up here. And this one's my fleet commander, so I like it as large as possible, so yeah. But still, corp, so I don't close it. I don't want to accidentally close something when I'm trying to get rid of stuff, right? So when I'm blah, blah, blah. Probe scanner, there we go. Um, right, I need to join the fleet. Fleet squad member. Checking if I do indeed come into my, good, excellent. Come on. Let's go to it. And I'll show you the three target locks that are well within this area. I don't think there's a way to make those target icon locks smaller. Right? But for our purposes, my purposes, I don't really care about that right now. I, I, I don't think it's possible. You know, Eve, but CCP, but whatever. 
it's, it's like one on the priority list of hey can we customize yet what like, i don't care all right so blink launch drones with a hotkey and a gauge perfect target lock and i'll show you what it means so it it works it's fine the way i have it set up is like if you like if you have a route route it's it's nicely aesthetic with everything right it's not it's not preventing you from seeing a whole bunch of stuff that you need to see by having them here it's not crowding it out and you get to see the mission stuff and things like that nature down here if you need to see it and i don't run missions anymore so i don't care but still the idea is there and as you can see i can easily interact with all three targets and if you have more targets and want to deal with that it's easy enough to take something low priority and just minimize it pizza cake And battleships, awesome piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I like the setup because having a dedicated PvP overview always up. Oh, it's just like in blank of everything except except neutrals. Oh, it's just awesome to behold. It's just such a game changer. I I, I should have got on this earlier, but. I'm stubborn. I didn't want to change up my setup. And I was like, oh man, I've got to change it all over again. And we had the buggered up overviews, customized, our customized overviews are all buggered up with brackets all squirrely and everything's kind of akimbo and unkempt. And it's like, uh, and, uh. so yeah, but yeah, it's, um, definitely has been worth my while to explore this area. And it only happened because I was helping noobs and I had an alpha account up and I obviously wasn't multi-boxing and had, didn't have this stuff. So I had all this screen space to go, hey, got all this space. I'm gonna play around with multiple overviews and I just fell in love with that right away. I was like, oh my God, this is so sexy. All right. So yeah, legitimately kudos to CCP for improving the game by most likely fluke than by design. Some smart little programmer made a suggestion and made it happen. And oh, hopefully it's well coded as to not be able to be ripped out easily by, you know, the morons of CCP who just love to rip out code. I don't know who it is, but they are high up there. I'll lock these windows eventually, once I'm happy with them, and I should be happy with them. Just like, uh, not when I'm experimenting, <laughs> not, not, not yet. Just want to make everything nice. Pew pew. Pew pew.
<laughs> nice. And of course, I could, if I wanted to, I could move these up here, right? And all the way up there, whoop to do, taken care of. Can I move it all the way up here? Doesn't look like I can, which is a good thing. I don't want to include that. But yeah, and then then any other new targets will appear down here. So you can definitely get six targets all lined up and happy. I've got a maximum of seven, and I hardly ever do that. But it would be easy enough to just go, oh, we need more space, and bam, done. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, if you haven't seen my earlier video, I used uh, Peld uh, because it, you know, stays above everything to uh, match all the windows. So they all match up uh, over the clients. So it's uh, easy. Once I got it set up, I just uh, use Peld to just, you know, get everything organized and looking good across all clients uh, the overview I didn't really care about but yeah yeah love this it's awesome not much use of course in uh, high sec but I not always in high sec anyways have a good one